What's up everyone, it's the detective back again with another video and today it's finally time because I'm going to be taking a look at the Diamond Phaedrus Ultra Starter Pack and my gosh, this pack has a lot of hype because if you guys don't know, Aquos and Darkest Diamonds are my favorite in terms of their appearance so I'm really excited to open this up and take a look. We do have Phaedrus here and then the other two Aquos ones I'm really really excited for it. You can see Diamond Phaedrus, the two other Bakugan, advertisements for some other products. So yeah, without further ado, let's bust this open and take a look at the diamonds that we get inside. So here's everything that you get in the set. Of course, you have your three beautiful Diamond Bakugan up here. We have our Baku cores, character cards, and checklist and fold-up guide. So yeah, let's jump right in with the star of the show, Phaedrus Ultra. So here is Phaedrus Ultra in her ball form, and my gosh... It looks beautiful. You guys know I love Darkest Diamonds, Garganoid, Nilius, Scorpros. They're really amazing looking. And, you know, the entire torso and the center is black. So you kind of can see that through the clear wings. And I absolutely love that. You have the kind of purple and green detailing. You can see her head and the tail, of course. Phaedrus Ultra's ball form is naturally just very, very round. So, yeah, without further ado, let's roll her onto a box report. And here she is, and all you have to do to complete the look is just fold down the little legs right there, and boom, Phaedrus Ultra. And this just looks absolutely amazing. I know I say that about a lot of diamonds, but they just keep getting better. Phaedrus Ultra looks beautiful. A lot of people are not the biggest fan of Phaedrus Ultra's design because it doesn't really look like Phaedrus. And while I do agree, I think that this is honestly a pretty bad representation of Phaedrus, I still love the design. It still looks really cool. It just doesn't really look like Phaedrus that we've been seeing in the show or on the cards. But nonetheless, I think that the clear wings and the clear head contrast really well against the totally dark black body. And overall, I think it's a pretty cool Diamond Bakugan. This might be the Diamond Phaedrus Ultra Battle Pack, but the real Bakugan that's had everyone hyped up is this. Diamond Fade Ninja. And there was such a large amount of hype behind this guy. I absolutely adore the Pyrus version, which I've already opened. And this is the second Fade Ninja that I'm getting, and it is the Diamond. And yeah, he does look pretty cool. His ball form is pretty generic, so there isn't much for me to say about him. But without further ado, let's take a look at his opened up form. And bam, Fade Ninja in Diamond form. And he does look really, really awesome. First of all, it's just so cool to get this guy finally in Aquos. Of course, you do have the little arms. Oop, got stuck. <laughs> you do have the little arms that kind of fold back, which I think is pretty neat. And you can also kind of, you know, move them around and stuff. That's really cool. 600B power on the feet. In terms of the actual way that he opens up, he's very, very similar to Cyndius with the arms and the head that fold out. And he even has the little, I'm not going to say tail, but it sort of does look like a little tail. It's mainly just for stabilization and such. But yeah, he just looks so cool. Let's get a closer look. Look at that. That just looks awesome. Super excited to have him. I do actually also have the Aquos one. I haven't opened it yet, but the Aquos one actually, the standard Aquos, it comes in the Pyrus Truncaneus starter pack. So we actually don't have any other Evos for this guy other than the Diamond Evo. So I'm really excited for when he actually gets like a Hyper or Titan Evo. I am super hyped up for that because I can't wait to see how good he's gonna be, especially since he has double shield cores. And finally, we have another Aquos Vicerox, but it is the diamond version. Aquos Vicerox is one of, if not the most common Bakugan. He's been released, I think, like at least six or seven times. But here we have the diamond version, so we're not really gonna be going over, you know, the actual effect of this guy for the most part. We're gonna be taking a look at the paint job, and it does look awesome. Just like Fade Ninja, the metallic paint on the Aquos color scheme looks phenomenal. I really love, again, how one claw is different than the other, especially in the diamond colors. That looks great. But my favorite part about this Bakugan is actually the little orange bits down here. I just think that that looks really cool, contrasted up against the clear plastic. And here he is, Vicerox Core in the diamond form. And Vicerox in general is a little bit unstable, so I do just have him standing on a core right here. But taking him off, he does look pretty awesome. Vicerox is not my most favorite design, but of course, they did the diamond form justice. And being such a big fan of Aquos Diamonds as I am, 
I think that he does look amazing. I especially like the orange eyes. I just feel like, especially on these diamond versions, the orange in the Aquos color scheme really, really stands out, and I really, really like it. Darkest Phaedrus Ultra, which this is the first release of her. We have not gotten a standard version of her yet, but she does have two shield cores, so I'm actually very curious as to what her evos are going to be, because right now the only one is the diamond evo, 208, and the diamond evo costs 8 to play, 1800 B power, and 9 damage. Another double shield Bakugan, so like I mentioned before, really excited to see what this guy's evos are. But he currently at the moment just has 602, and the diamond evo is 7 to play, a little bit costly, 1808 damage. And finally for Vicerox, we've seen him before, he has a shield and a red fist, 207, in the diamond evo. I absolutely love that art by the way, it looks really nice. 3 to play, 707, so honestly... This Diamond Evo, honestly, is not too bad. You get five Shield Cores and one Red Fist in this set. And here they are flipped over, so you can read their effect. You get some really nice Shield Cores, especially, you know, the Faction ones and also the Plus 300. Those are some pretty good Shield Cores, so this is honestly a great pack for Bakken Cores. So yeah, that's basically it for my review on the Diamond Phaedrus Ultra pack. Can I recommend it? Well, if you're a collector, totally, because these diamonds are great, but as a player, I think if you find it, you should obviously buy it, but if you only buy the Bakugan to play, maybe hold off on this, because we haven't seen Evos for these two Bakugan, and while they do have promise being double shields, they could end up just having horrible Evos, and especially if you're going to be shelling out lots of money, it might not be worth it. But I do think that these three Bakugan do look amazing. Again, it is a bit of a more personal bias, considering that I have a bias towards Aquos and Darkest diamonds. Just the color scheme in Aquos and Darkest just looks the best for diamonds, in my opinion. But yeah, what do you think of this pack? I think it's pretty awesome. Again, if you find a diamond, you should buy it. And that's basically it for this review. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I'm The Detective, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.